Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I'm back with a super simple lesson in circuits. We're going to learn how to add a push button. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Of course, step one is to switch to circuits and choose create new circuit. Today, we're going to name it push limits. And you can put your initials after it if you want, and then immediately bring out a breadboard and bring out a nine volt battery. I'm gonna spin that around. Remember, this is your rotate tool, so that way it's easier to see. And then I'm gonna connect the wires to the positive and the negative. This one's the negative, so it goes to that rail, and then I also like to make them black so I can tell which is which as I'm building. My positive wire is gonna be red. We are gonna use these sweet little push buttons. I want you to bring one in, and I want you to drop it in number two and then connect your positive to the first leg and then move the next out to say number seven so that these two sides of the push button are pressed in. Bring out a resistor. Use your rotate to spin it around. We're gonna drop an LED rate in this location where we've got one leg here and one leg here. But before we do that, let's connect the negative rail because it's easier to see before we put in the LED. Once again, we can put that black wire to show where that's at. Real quickly, let's click our resistor and change it to ohms. And let's also make it 100 ohms before we move on. Now when you bring out your LED, we can drop it down below. Make sure you connect it to the resistor leg and you connect it to that negative rail and then rotate it. Because remember, we need the flat side on the negative end or the cathode of our circuit. This one's kind of neat. When you hit start, nothing happens, but when you reach over here and click the button, it lights up. Now, if you're looking at that eye, that means that we've got too much juice going through there. Instead of 100 ohms, let's make that 100 kilo ohms, and that cancels it out when we get our glow art that we want. Let's stop the simulation and build another one really quick. Once again, I'm gonna connect from the positive row this time I'm going all the way across. I'm gonna bring out another push button and drop it in right below, making sure those are connected. I'm gonna move over just one this time so it looks a little different. Bring out my resistor, rotate that little critter around, pull it up into location, connect that negative row again, just cause it's easier to see before I drop in the resistor. Make it black so it's easier to keep track cause the more of these that you add and we are pushing limits, the harder it is to tell where they are. Bring in my LED, and make sure I connect it in the right location on the resistor and that negative connection, and then rotate it around so that the cathode end is on the negative rail. Because it's fun, I wanna change the color. I can switch it to whatever I want. I'm gonna do a pretty green, make it look almost Christmassy. And when we start the circuit, check it out. Boom, boom. We've got two working circuits. Let's check this one out. It's got one ohm. If we real quickly click on our resistor, you can see that it is one kilo ohm. I'm going to change it to ohms, but I'm going to make it 200. And then I'm going to go back to my other resistor, and I'm going to make it 200 ohms as well. Let's see if that still gets us the proper... Uh, no warning. Nope, we still get a warning on that. Let's see if 400 is the magic number so that our LEDs are safe and they last as long as they should. No warnings with a 400 ohm resistor. Pop a 4 in there and let's see how it works. So your challenge now is to see how many of these little buttons you can hook up with LEDs, and maybe see what kind of amazing pattern you can create to make this circuit more efficient and more fun to look at. You could also do something crazy and bring out a second board as you build this sweet little project. Friends, I hope you had a little bit of fun, learned how to work that push button, and are starting to make some sweet circuits using Tinkercad. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.